Mm. <coughs> <What>? I'm stressed. <laughs> Ciao guys, I bought a load of Eastern Ramen. Believe me or not, I've never tried Eastern Ramen before. Beef? I believe this one is spicy. Oh my god, shrimps and eggs. Pork. Ribs. What do you mean with the ribs? And of course, chicken. And a mysterious one, which is UFO. It's like with seafood. Oh, this one is without the soup. The menu for today. Pork. No English, nothing I can understand. <gasps> something liquid. Oh. I have chopsticks, so I won't need those. Oh, they're cute. You know the thing you put in the water to make broth? It smells of that. The pork is very much invisible, like one gram of meat. It's not liquid, very thick. Oh. Very tasteful. The beef one, because of its red, it's hot. The amount of beef is really small. There is just a hint of beef. I have to fish out all the forks. There is a powder in here. A lot of pepper. Oh. I believe that that's the spicy one. It's really red. It smells very beefy. If you think of it, it's a very cheap food. You can actually make a whole meal with a lot of flavors and ingredients for like two and a half bucks. Now the beef, I believe not hot one. The fork. This time four ingredients. There is some scrambled egg, which you can recognize because it's yellow and scrambled. The powder. I can see the salt in it. The sauce, which we know, and this mysterious thing. I believe this could be kimchi. Mm. <laughs> totally not yummy. The third is ready. The ribs one. The fork. One, two, three. Oh, onion in here. Onion sauce. Whoa. Very onion. <laughs> Our sauce, which I believe is kind of everywhere. Oh no, this is very much different. Very mushroomy, I believe. The chicken one. One, two, oh, three. A fork. I don't see the chicken. No chicken in here. Oh, maybe it's like chicken broth and not with chicken pieces. There is an actual chicken thigh in here. This smells like chicken. Mm -hmm. Also, there are some chicken pieces or some parts. Uh, this one, shrimps, crab meat and eggs. This lady that drinks it, I want to be her later, like... It already smells like fish. Oh, that's ingredients. I can spot everything. I can see everything. Crab, the shrimps. Look at that. This is an absolute seafood noodles. Totally. Very fishy. The smell is nice. The last one, the UFO, which is basically seafood again. The fork. Oh, shrimpy. Also, yeah, those are different. Ooh. It could be oyster sauce. Okay, I microwaved a very boiling water. I will pay attention. I had nothing professional to do that, so I will use some cups and glasses. The quantity of one cup is not enough. This could easily be a mess. Perfect. I'm stressed. So now we just wait. See you in a few minutes. I'm back. The smell in here is amazing. We go from beef to pork to chicken to seafood. Beef number one and beef number two. This one, I feel it's mild. The egg has softened. Very scrambled egg right now. This one is very red, very mild. A little bit more spicy, not that much. Mmm, I didn't realize that I love ramen. 
It's so warming and comfort. It's more pepper than chili. Mm. My heart is warm. It looks much more dangerous. This, this, this is the spicy one. Mm. Oh, by the way, I am not gonna finish seven packages of Eastern Ramen, I know, but I will keep them and take them home. I have people to feed. My nose starts watering. And let's go with pork. Pork number one, pork number two, pork roll and pork ribs. This one has a very white broth, coconut milk, the smell is very fresh. This one instead has a very classic broth. This one is way more white. I love pork. The small pieces of beef are really salty, they are like sausage. Mm. I believe that with one rib they make like 100 boxes. Oh, broth! Mmm, almost limey. Mm, this one is so rich. I want to go back to the first white one to see if I can taste the difference because this one is the one with the onion package. Mm, I see the difference. This one is meant to be more comfort. Now I think I should have started with the fish ones. You know, I know it's strange to say something like this right now, but Lately, I've been thinking to become a vegetarian. I just never choose meat. I am realizing that I don't enjoy that much. So maybe I should just take the decision, stop eating meat for good. Oh, I want to go back to the beef one. And see if I prefer pork or beef. I don't know which one I prefer. You know, the point about all that meat stuff is that when I buy meat or I have to see or touch or smell the raw meat, I feel it kind of gross. It makes me feel awkward and I am a little bit disgusted by it and I am now only able to eat meat when it's very processed. Meatballs or inside of other stuff or bustels. Something started to change in my mind. And with that said, we are about to try chicken. It's not something that can change it through the night or not. How important is it to just make a statement? Like, I am vegetarian. How important is it to be 100% vegetarian or someone that eats meat like once a month because they go out and they eat beer still on pizza? Maybe the key is not to be 100% about that. Just some stuff I've been thinking. Well, the appearance actually is not that seasoned or that rich. I got fooled by this, which looks like almost curry. It's absolutely basic chicken broth with noodles. Let's see what's so special about this. And the answer is nothing. It's just something that you expect to eat when you are sick, like in the movies when people get sick. It's unnecessary. I got these on the table, which are the seafood ones. This one is the one that has to be dried. It felt a little bit of a waste. A lot of very colorful, smelly and flavorful water was just weighted into the sink. And the seafood one looks amazing. I absolutely love the surimi imitation crab. Let's start with this one because I am not sure. It just doesn't look special at all. You know, it doesn't look special because it's not. Mm, I just don't see the point. But let's try this one. My next favorite dish. Oh, the broth. Uh, it's perfect. It doesn't even feel like, uh, you know, dried chemical fish. Look at this. I love this. Mm, sorry, baby shrimp. I need water. What did I learn today? That I love Eastern ramen, also that I don't need beef and, and I don't need spicy, but that I love pork. My tummy is full, my heart is warm. Please help me enjoying more of this by hitting like and also subscribing. I know it's not something that you do so often or so spontaneously, but please do. It's really helpful. What can I say? I will just keep eating this until I pass out. See you soon!